Hello and welcome one and all to Essential Tools You'll Use in Your Life. I'm your host, Mr. Phillips, and today we will discuss the power drill. What's that? Do you want to come up? Do you want to come up? Okay. It's you. Yes, it is. Yeah. So daddy's filming a video. Okay. So you got to be quiet. Okay. So what is a power drill? A power drill is an electric motor that rotates a replaceable drill bit to make a hole in wood, plastic, or metal, or any kind of material. Alternately, a screwdriver bit can be installed to turn screws. The parts of a drill include the handle, an on-off trigger with a safety latch, bless you, a reversible switch for changing the rotation direction of the drill bit, a torque adjustment, and the chuck that holds the drill bit in place. <laughs> Corded drills are powered by a 110 volt electrical cord inserted into an electrical receptacle outlet. And cordless drills are powered by a battery in the drill's handle. This information I found from, is incited from HowStuffWorks.com. So what are the origins of the electric drill? So the invention of the electric drill and patent came in 1889 in Australia from Arthur James Arnott and William Blanche Brain, excuse me. This was not the handheld drill we use today, but a big oversized drill used for mining. The first portable handheld drill came in 1889, 1895, excuse me, <laughs> by Willem and Carl Fein of Germany. This was a much larger drill that we know that required two hands to hold and operate. It wasn't until the 1910s when S. Duncan Black and Alonzo Decker, Black and Decker, developed the first version of the electric hand drill we know today. All right, so now the question is, so now the question is, when am I ever going to use a power drill? Well, the short answer is when to use a power drill, especially over any type of hand tool, is simply is always. A power drill is great for pre-drilling holes for nails and screws, especially when driving screws and nails into a hard, knotty material. I always, I always think it best when I'm building a woodworking project when you fasten together with screws to have two drills, one drill to pre-drill your holes and the other drill to drive your screws in to your project. Now, yes, you can always remove and replace the bits each time, but that gets to be very time consuming and quite tedious. A drill will also come in handy when you want to hang objects on the wall. So you would use your drill to pre-drill a hole into the wall for your screw and and then you would use the drill to then drive your screw into the wall. If you're drilling into a wall and you hit a wall stud, you can simply just drive the screw into that hole. To know if you're driving into a stud, you'll need a stud finder, which will be our next video. If you happen to drive through the wall and you don't hit a, a stud, you will need a wall anchor to drive and hold your screw in place. This will help strengthen whatever you're hanging. Power drills with a cord, you most likely will need an extension cord so you can reach an outlet. Cordless drills, it's nice to have at least two batteries because at some point your battery is always dead if you forget to charge them. But with the price of batteries that are so ridiculously high, it's just simply cheaper to buy another drill. So I'll take a look at some of my own personal drills here. So I've got a corded drill here, an old Black and Decker drill, about three eighth three eighth inch drill, got a cord. Now this particular drill has a chuck key. If I can get it off of here. It has a chuck key that I would use. I would place this down into this hole here and I would use this to remove whatever bit I'm using. I had this drill for about a year or so before, you know, when I first had this drill, I couldn't find the switch to reverse the chuck. So I again found out that it was on the back of this. We ended up finding this drill in a gentleman left when his mother died, left his uh, mother's house to our uh, church. And this drill was found in the basement. So my, own, so my dad brought it home. Nobody claimed it. So he brought it home and then I used it, took it to work with me. And now I have it at home now. So this was the drill that I used for the longest time with a you know, corded drill, nice and power. I like to use this drill most of the time when I'm pre-drilling holes 
because it's just a pain in the butt to pop this thing out all the time. My other drill, my other drill here is a Ryobi, reconstructed Ryobi, battery powered. Love that smell. Mm, it's reconstructed. I managed to get this one from a, a previous relationship. Uh, there previous girlfriend's parents bought this for me. If you see this, you know who you are. Thank you again. I love this tool. Love this drill. My pride and joy. Use this drill a lot for when I'm hanging things around the house, like that clock in the back there. You can see pre-drilled a hole, use the drill, put a uh, screw in the wall, and I uh, was able to put that up. Uh, a video that I did last year, I made of uh, me making a pallet bench. My first, was my second COVID project during the uh, COVID pandemic. Made a pallet, made a bench out of pallet wood. So I started out making the video, started out making the thing with both drills, using both drills, you know, using the, you know, the electric drill to pre-drill my holes and then using this one to drive in my screws. About halfway through, battery died on this one. So I had to put the battery on. Then I had to use the rest of the project by using the electric drill. And it got tight quite time consuming the fact that I had to take out the chuck each time and with taking out the chuck like like I said before use the chuck key pop it off this way and that takes a beat could take took up a lot of time whereas this one you still would just hold the chuck here and then you would squeeze the trigger and it would stop and then you could put the chuck in and flip it around definitely use these a lot now uh do you necessarily need a drill in your household? Not really. I mean, as long as you have a screwdriver, you can still drive things. But what this will do, or it will definitely, is a nice luxury because you will not be tiring your hands out. So just a simple, speeds things up and you won't have any tired hands. So I love those drills. I use them a lot in my life, just in my home and not in, not just doing woodworking. Well, that is all for this episode. Join me next time we discuss the stud finder. See you later, alligators.